She's a magnificent. The queen. The queen. Hey guys, guess what? I am so excited. Listen, my birthday is tomorrow. Your girl will be 52. And yes, I am very happy about that. Very, very happy. If you know my story, then you will understand that, listen, I almost didn't make it to 22. Then I almost didn't make it to 25. So I'm very, very excited. I'm being greedy too right now, y'all. Yes, yeah, so I'll be 52 and I'm happy because, like I said, there were some things that happened in my life where I almost didn't make it. Do y'all remember those times? All right, take a look. One day, three masked intruders armed with guns forced their way into her apartment. T was held at gunpoint and forced to open the safe. The intruders stole $150,000 cash and jewelry before fleeing. So, if you read my book or some, saw my documentary, you remember that when I was 21 years old, I was set up, robbed, set up to be robbed. Thank God they didn't kill me. My brother-in-law actually sent three individuals into my well, it was my mother's apartment. I was just staying there at the time to do business. He had no idea what them people were capable of. So that's why I'm so happy. You know, that was a situation that I knew many people were in and some didn't make it from Harlem. You know, and it's like, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. So do y'all remember this next incident? T was walking home. I was walking from the Jamaican restaurant with my cousin's little sister. She saw 50 speaking to a group of men. I looked up the block and I noticed it was 50 talking to some dudes from 140th Street. T sensed something was wrong. Now I already knew right then and there, it was really no reason for 50 to be talking to them. Seconds later, she heard gunshots and then saw 50 running towards her. I heard shots. I turn around, I see 50 running towards me. The gunman ran after him and started letting off more shots. The front of 50's shirt was stained with blood from a gunshot wound. T tried to run across the street to escape from the gunfire. But she was struck by a stray bullet. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share my videos. Now, 21, I got set up and robbed. And then 24, I was shot. I mean, oh, that's a lot for that age. And that's a lot, period, for anybody to have to deal with in life. But you know, growing up in the environment I did and doing the things that I did and being involved with the people and things that I were involved in, that comes with that lifestyle. You know, I am so happy that I'm here. Sometimes I, be, I wonder why I am, but you know, hopefully it's to inspire and encourage people to do the right thing and discourage people from doing the wrong thing, you know? I'm thankful, man, 52, yeah. Some people probably looking like, you happy to be 52, you on that other side. That's okay, because I feel great. I think I look great, you know? And um, again, I almost didn't make it here, you know? So I'm a half a century. I'm over half a century. 
But yeah, and I'm still going. So yeah, that's why I'm like super excited. Tomorrow is my birthday. Not really sure what I'm doing tomorrow, but I got some things set up for Saturday and a couple of other things. But then I'm preparing for this big thing that I'm going to have going on. So I'm kind of busy. Didn't bother taking a vacation. Um, I might take one in maybe October when we finish shooting. But listen, to be able to be here and talk to you guys, it makes me happy. So cash app your girl. How about that for her birthday? Dollar sign. M-S-T-E-E-134 -E -E Hit me up for my birthday Send me something Oh shout out to Glaze Oh my god that's my guy Glaze sent me something Thank you That's my guy And a guy named Corey It's so crazy I don't know how he found my birthday I don't even know him He said Miss T It was only $40 But he said Miss T I know your birthday coming up I'm going to send you this Before I spend all my money on Friday He said happy birthday Thank you Corey I think Corey said he's from South Carolina Thank you so much I appreciate that My guy Glaze Thank you so much Yeah so um Yeah You know In the black community It's just amazing how A lot of us haven't made it to the age I am probably won't make it but to my guys listen I need y'all to live I need y'all to want to live it's more to life than gang banging hustling by selling drugs the hustle is real hustle all day but you can hustle all kind of things and it doesn't have to be illegal so I want y'all to get into that mind frame of doing the right thing stop listening to OGs who come back out here on that BS, you know what I'm saying? Who are still out here on that BS. Listen, do the right thing. Do like all that gang banging and robbing and trying to be a bully. That's real sucker ish, to be honest with you. What's gangster to me? Taking care of your kids, as I said before, your mothers. You know, living, wanting to live to an older age is gangster to me. That's gangster to me now. A lot of things was what I thought was gangster. Ain't really gangster because it ain't about nothing. You understand what I'm saying? So, you want to be gangster? You want to prove a point? You want to impress somebody? Take care of your kids. Get educated. Work. There's nothing wrong with a job and getting a check. Become an entrepreneur. I need y'all to want to live, baby. Want to live. That's it. In our community, it's a shame that our thing is wanting to live and grow old. Don't white folks ain't thinking about stuff like that? Why wow, we gotta think of stuff like that? That's crazy to me, killing each other. Killing each other is not cool. Not at all. I don't know, it went viral, I think. It was all over the news. Where one black chick went up to another black chick just recently and shot her in the head, killed her. It's over either a man or jealousy. That woman, 42, she's dead. The one who killed her, she going away forever. For what? Y'all think that's cool? Nah, ain't nothing cool about it. Nothing. Real whack. We gotta do better. I want my people to do better. This is why I do what I do. This is why Glaze does what he does. We want our people to do better. I love my people. I just can't stand y'all sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to have fun this weekend celebrating my 52nd birthday. And I'm excited. And then next week, my daughter will be 30 years old. Oh, my God. 
the love of my life. I almost left her when she was two and a half years old. That's when I got robbed. She was about two and a half. I'm so thankful to God. A lot of stuff don't mean nothing to me too much more. You know, I wake up and I'm just excited to do it all over again. I'm excited. You hear me? But anyway, before this food comes, you know, like I said, I feel good, I look good. Let me see. I'm still, in my head, I'm still little. Overweight, and if you are, that's okay. You can work on it, and I'll work on it with you. I'll work on it with you. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Love you, and that's another thing about me. I love me so much, I don't know what to do. I love me so much, I take myself to eat. Matter of fact, shout out to Glaze. Glaze treated me to eat. But yeah, I'm happy. Happy birthday to me. And y'all, like, share, subscribe. Holler at your girl. Hit that cash app. And shout out to those who have been, um, they've been doing the um, consulting and chats with me. The link is down there. You can consult. You can chat for 15 minutes, and I think I do 30 minutes of consulting. And it's been really good talking to some of y'all. You know, a lot of y'all been going through some things from childhood. And listen, if, it's, if anything, I want you to do is love you first. It's not about whatever people think or what other people say. Love you first. And people probably wonder why... I carry myself a certain way or whatever because I love me first you know yeah I love me first yeah you got to but yeah I appreciate y'all those who have utilized that tool that I set up to chat or to consult you know some people just want to talk to a person that's not gonna judge you know, I'm a neutral person because I don't know some of y'all, you know. And I'm not here to judge. I'm here to help. You know, if God, if I did all, if I went through everything that I went through and my sole purpose was to help and inspire, I want to do that. Like, I'm on, I don't do nothing crazy. I'm not back in that street life because in my head I'm thinking God is watching me. And I don't want to do anything to disgrace him or interrupt the path that I'm going on or anything like that. That's just me personally. You know, and I struggle with certain things sometimes because I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes things get rough. But I'm not doing no shenanigans out here. I can't. I can't. I did it already. I'm good. But yeah. I'm sorry about the noise, but y'all know I like to talk to y'all outside while I'm drinking. This is a pure song. Right. So anyway. But that's about it for now. Y'all be great. That's what I need. I need for y'all to be great. I want all y'all to be great. Do great things. Do good things. Do phenomenal things. Be phenomenal. You know? Yeah. So make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Holla at your girl. My birthday is tomorrow. And I'm happy. Life is good. Life is good. So. Well, not when I got robbed. I meant when I got shot. I almost left her. But then again, when I got robbed, 
neither one of us probably wouldn't have made it if it would have went all left. So, 